Hello everyone, I welcome you all in this session on the platform of KSG. As you know that UPSC has announced its notification and we have already made a video on how you have to fill this one time registration form. Okay. Now keep one more thing in mind that this one time registration form is going to be some sort of permanent thing. Okay. So even if you are going for next year, you have to go through this same information which you have entered. So be very careful about it. We have already made a video on what are the things that you have to take care of while filling this one time registration form. Now we are again here to discuss certain changes which has been introduced in this examination in UPSC of in this 2023 examination of UPSC. Okay. Now 115 days are remaining also. So in this session itself, we will talk about certain strategy on how you can prepare, how you can gear up for the prelims examination. Okay. See, if we talk about the important dates, keep in mind that the last application date is 21st Feb. It has started from 1st of Feb to 21st of Feb. This would be the date, this would be the window in which you have to fill your application form. Okay. There is a modification window also and that is between 22nd Feb to 28th Feb. And I am very much hopeful that you are already aware about this date of prelims examination. It is going to be conducted on 28th of May this year. And the mains examination are going to start from 15th September onwards. Okay. Now, these are certain important dates which you should mark in your calendar. And in this moment, in this uh, at this particular moment of time, you should be very much aware about this date, 1st Feb to 21st Feb 2023. That is your window of filling the registration form. Don't wait for the last day, just start to fill your form now. Okay. Then, if we talk about certain changes which has been there this year, you will find that first thing is now they have come with a new portal, one time registration portal. Second thing is number of vacancies have also been increased. So that is a positive news for you, that is a good news for you. Okay. Now, last year in the first notification, UPSC said that there is going to be 861 vacancies, but later on they have increased. They have added 150 more seats for Indian Railway Management Service and the total vacancies were 1011. But even in comparison to that, we are having 94, we are having 94 more number of seats this year. Okay. So that is a good news for you. And at the same time, last year, the number of posts in the original notification were 19. Okay. Later on, Indian Railway Management Service was also included and this year, one more thing has been included, that is Pondicherry Police Service Group B. Okay. So 21 posts are there and total vacancies of 1105. Okay. In the last two or three years, UPSC has also come up with one new thing. They have allowed the candidates to withdraw their application form. Okay. But this year, they have made it clear that the candidates will not be allowed to withdraw their application. Now, there is no such uh, change like that. Even if you are not withdrawing your application form, it is not going to be counted until unless you appear for the prelims examination. So you won't have to, you don't have to worry about it at all. Okay. Withdrawal of application form, it was not there prior to like, if we talk about 2017, 18, 19, there also it was not there. Okay. It was introduced for some year, but now UPSC has again withdrawn this scheme. Okay. Now, one more thing. There is a lot of questions that we have been getting that what would be the age bracket in which a person can fill the form. Okay. For the general category students, if you are born between 2nd of August 1991 to 1st of August 2002, if you are born between this time, then you can go for filling the application form this year. Okay. If you are in this age group, if you are in this age bracket, then you can go for filling the examination this year. This is for general category candidates. For other, like for OBC candidates or for scheduled caste candidates, some relaxations have been provided that you can go through the, you can go through the notification and you can check it from there. Okay. Then if we talk about this date of birth, it has to be calculated from the matriculation certificate, class 10th certificate. That will be your criteria for deciding each and everything. Okay. Even your name, all the information that has to come from this matriculation certificate. Okay. So that should be your base for filling the form, for giving all the details. Then if we talk about the caste certificate for OBC category or for EWS category, they have given a dateline also. Okay. 
So you have to get a certificate and the date of certificate should be between 1st of April 2022 to 21st of Feb 2023. So if you have got your certificate in this time bracket, then you can use that. And remember one thing, in the prelims examination, they are not asking you to upload the certificate, but they are asking for certificate number. Okay. So you have to get that certificate between this time bracket itself. Okay. You cannot think that during the mains examination, I will get a fresh OBC certificate or EWS certificate and then I will go for it. No, the certificate date should be between this time bracket only. 1st of April 2022 to 21st of Feb 2023. Then there is one more question. There are some candidates who have already gone through, uh, already completed their graduation, but some of you might be appearing for graduation this year. This has been one of the major questions, especially among the first time aspirants. Those who are going for examination first time, they have been asking this question that graduation certificate, whether you have to give it or not. Now keep one thing in mind. Suppose that you are going to appear for your graduation this year and before the mains form like this examination is going to be conducted on 28th of may okay so mains form would be somewhere in the month of june end or july beginning that would be the time when you would be asked to fill your daf daf 1 for the mains examination okay and during that time you will need your graduation certificate if not the original degree at least you should have the provisionary certificate with you so that is one more thing which has to be produced in the month of July or June itself. Okay. You cannot do it on later stage. If you are confident that you will get your certificate by the mid of June or July, then you can go for this year examination. Okay. Then that is what is there in the, that is some of the important things which you have to keep in mind, age, caste certificate and graduation certificate. Okay. Now, one more thing, since this prelims is near and we have around 115 days, you should gear up for the prelims examination. This is the right time when you should increase your focus on the prelims. And for that, I would suggest you certain things based on our strategy that we are follow at KSG. Okay. The first thing is you should adopt this 3R strategy, read, revise and recall. Okay. Now, prelims examination is based on your recalling ability how much you are able to recall the facts, how much you are, able, you are able to identify it. That is something for which you have to train your mind. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to, suppose you have taken a particular topic, just go through it, read it, revise it, and then try to recall it back. When you are training your mind to recall the facts which you have studied, recall the things which you have, the topics or the concepts which you have studied, it is going to be very much beneficial for you. Okay. So adopt this strategy, read, revise, and recall. Like suppose on the first day, like say that today you have read certain concept maybe of trop uh, tropical cyclones. Then try to recall what you have read today on the next day. Tomorrow try to just recall that in terms of keywords. Suppose you have read certain uh, concepts of maybe uh, environment or maybe science tech. Try to recall that in the next two or three days. When you are training your mind to recall these things, it is going to be very much helpful in solving the mock tests also and also getting good scores in the prelims examination. That is what we are all doing for. Okay. Then one more thing I would like to suggest is you need to practice a lot. Practice is one thing that is going to give you the confidence. Okay. In the prelims examination, you must have very high level of confidence. If you are having that confidence, you can solve the questions very easily. And that confidence can come through solving a lot of questions. Okay. For the prelims, there is only three things, practice, practice, and practice. Okay. You have to practice a lot of questions. Try to have a target that you will have at least, you will have solved at least 5,000 questions before the prelims examination this year. Within this gap of next 115 days, try to solve these many questions. Okay. Also do one thing, try to have a this target that you will go through at least 20 to 25 questions on daily basis. It would hardly take you 30 minutes of time per day, but it is going to give you that confidence for you and that is definitely going to help you. Okay. The third thing is, now you need to focus. 
you don't have to increase your base identify the core subjects core subjects such as polity modern history geography then economy environment science tech these are certain core subjects from where you are getting around 60 to 65 numbers of questions focus on these areas and keep the source limited you don't have to increase the base of or the number of books rather than that you have to focus on more number of revision you can listen to various toppers who have secured like good ranks in the previous years if you even listen to them they have also emphasized on one single thing you need to practice more rather than increasing your numbers of book okay so that increase has to be done here that increase in the frequency has to be done in case of revision of the things rather than the number of books okay and the one last thing which i would like to tell you you have to do this diagnosis of yourself you have to find out that what is your strong area what is your strength okay like some of you may be having quite much uh, you can say that quite much strong basis or quite much strong fundamentals in case of polity some of you may have in modern history even in the subjects maybe you are having more strength in fundamental rights than maybe uh, panchayati raj institutions so first try to find out what is your strength and make it much more solid make that foundation make that strength much more solid for yourself okay so that you can be very secure about it second thing is identify your weakness you have you are having 115 days and this is the right time when you can identify what are your weak areas and then you can make it your strength then you can convert it convert that portion in your strength now this diagnosis has not to be only on this level not only on this subject level but also on the level of questions that whether you are having problem in solving two line based two statement based question or three statement based questions or one liners okay whether you are having problems in factual questions or analytical questions okay so try to diagnose yourself that where you are having this problem in the upcoming days we are going to come with a number of initiatives and we will also have various diagnosis tools for you which is going to help you in your prelims examination okay a number of initiatives are going to be started by ksg in the upcoming few days for a better preparation for the prelims examination i wish you all the best thank you very much and in case of any query feel free to reach to us thank you and all the best thank you